Hey everybody, it's Nick from First Coast Math Clinic. In this video, we're going to talk about what postulates and theorems are, as well as what the difference is between the two. Let's get into it. So in this video, we're going to compare postulates and theorems. And if you're currently taking a high school or middle school geometry class, you're probably hearing these words a lot. Well, what are they? Let's start with postulates. And postulate is basically just a statement accepted without proof. Postulates are very simple statements. And you may also hear them referred to as axioms. So if you read that word in a textbook, your teacher says axiom, they're basically just referring to a postulate. Now, what's an example of a postulate? The first postulate we're going to get into is known as the segment addition postulate. This is a really simple statement. So we're going to start to go over the segment addition postulate. We're going to start with segment AC. And we're going to say we have point B somewhere on AC. So if we have AC and point B on AC, well then what could we say from this? Well, let's say we want to find the total length of this segment here, AC. Well, to get that length AC, we know we can add up our smaller segments, AB, BC, and that'll give us the length of our larger segment AC. So for example, if we've got 7 centimeters here and 12 centimeters here, and I want to find the total length of my segment, well, I could just add up that 7 centimeters plus 12 centimeters, and we're going to get our total length of 19 centimeters, which is the total length of segment AC. So that's our segment addition postulate. It's one of the first postulates we're going to get into. I have another example. I have another video using the segment addition postulate that you guys can, can check out. But what about theorems? Theorems are statements that need to be proved. Because they're statements that need to be proved, they're slightly more complex than our postulates are. And one of the first theorems we're going to cover, we're going to get into, is known as the midpoint theorem. And our midpoint theorem starts off pretty similar to our segment addition postulate. So if we have segment AC, now we have B on AC, but B is the midpoint of AC. So I'll put point B at the, at the midpoint of, of AC. And then our midpoint theorem gives us the relationship between our two smaller segments, AB and BC, and our larger segment, AC. It tells us that, well, AB is going to be equal to one half the measure of AC, and BC is going to be equal to one half the measure of AC. So it relates our smaller segments, AB and BC, to our larger segment, AC. And this is an example of a theorem. It's slightly more complex than our postulate in that we are, we're bringing in the definition of a midpoint, and we've got this one half relationship that's created because of our definition of a midpoint. So the takeaway here, if we have a postulate, we're basically just going to accept it without proof. If we have a theorem, theorem is a statement that is a little more complex and we need to we need to prove. Now what are you going to use postulates and theorems for in your geometry class? Well postulates and theorems found the kind of form the, the foundation of knowledge that you use to do any problem solving in geometry as well as any geometric proofs. So it's a good idea to have a, I told my students to have a running list of postulates and theorems as you cover them, as you go over them in class. Just keep a separate list of postulates and theorems so you could reference them. I think that's going to help you out a lot. So I hope this video helped you guys understand what postulates and theorems are a little bit better. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Nick from First Coast Math Clinic.